Well, hello, all you cool cats and kittens. It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco. And I welcome you back to another Philly Philly the Film Room. We back, y'all. We back, y'all. Um, quick little announcement. I will be moving, so you will be seeing a whole new setup. And, you know, we're going to be getting into it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get right into it. And maybe, you know, I'll set this mic up when we get to the new place. But, yeah, let's get into it. This kid, Travis Fulgham, he looks good, man. He looks really good. So we're going to get right into it. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button if you do enjoy content like this. We are growing ever so fast, and I appreciate it, guys. So, yeah, let's get into this. So the first one is in the second quarter. Uh, it's third and three. This, I believe, might have been his first catch. I'm not 100% sure on that. Do not quote me on that. But I know it's one of his first ones. Um, this one, I liked it just because you see, all right, off the, off the rip of it, he doesn't run a great, you know, route off the, off the starting block, if you will. Um, he does get kind of caught up in the man press. He, you know, and his, his, if at this point, his route is kind of dead. But what I like about this, and he kind of mirrors Zach Ertz without even, like, I think he didn't, you know, obviously he wasn't watching Zach Ertz on this play. But if you watch him and Zach Ertz, they kind of do the same thing after the play becomes kind of a scramble play. And if you look at everybody else on the team, they don't do that. They, they seem to run away from Carson Wentz once he starts getting into that scramble drill. So if you look at, I'll circle them, right in the middle of the field, you got Zach Ertz and you have Travis Fulgham you see that they both break off their routes and instead of just keep on going across the field, they break back towards the sideline. Now here, you know, Carson, he obviously gets popped, but he can throw it to uh, Zach Ertz. He can throw it to Fulgram. They both make themselves available. Now, like I said, he did not start off the greatest. It wasn't the greatest, you know, route, but for him to, you know, have the presence of mind to break off the route and become available and, you know, make himself a target for Carson Wentz, that's something that you love to see out of our wide receivers and the toughness to come back over the middle of the field. Now, number two is basically right after that. So it's the next play, right next play, second quarter still. And this is just a beautifully put together play, to be honest. Um, you see that Travis Fulgram, he, he motions in. So once he motions in, this, you know, you have a heavy set in the backfield. You have, you know, you have two tight, well, you have a tight end and you have your wide receiver, Travis Fulgram, and you have Boston Scott in the backfield as well. So here, you know, it kind of screams run. Um, at this play, you know, when I was watching it live, I thought it was going to be a run. Uh, I just thought they were bringing in extra protection. The misdirection in this play is something I want to see way more of. Now, let's run the play. You see, once Travis Fulgram leaves the, um, the backfield, I should say, he has like a little bit of a hesitation where he pretends to go left. He looks like he might block. And it holds up three defenders. It holds up three defenders. Now, the linebacker, I think he was kind of in, you know, maybe he either guessed that it was man, I mean, a run uh, maybe he got fooled by the fake handoff, or maybe he was supposed to just be covering the tight end. But either way, right here, you see Travis Fulgram is wide open. There's nobody in a while. There's, you know, in a, in a country mile, man. He's, he's, got a, he's got a lot of green grass. Um, only, if I'm nitpicking, you know, the only thing I would say, I would love to see Travis Fulgram's head snap back a little bit quicker. Um, you know, once he sees that he has that clearance from the linebacker, there's literally nobody there. So if he turns his head back a little bit quicker, uh, Carson Wentz is able to get him the ball a little bit quicker. That might be even more yards, but he's able to, you know, keep running with it, shows his toughness, breaks off a tackle and is able to, you know, kind of stumble ahead for even more yards. Now the third one, third one is second and 12. And this one was a huge play. This was not the greatest of routes, not the greatest of decisions from Carson Wentz. Um, you know, not the best play call, I guess you can say even. But the end product, I mean, speaks for itself. There's not much you can say about this. Carson Wentz ends up putting it right where it needs to be. And this, again, shows the trust that he's, you know, garnering from Carson Wentz already. And he throws it right in, in the middle of basically three defenders. You know, that that's no man's land. But... You know, Travis Fulgram makes a huge catch in traffic, comes down with it, 
gives a little bit of spunk at the end of it you gotta love that but you can even see it from this angle like there's three people you know you're probably gonna take a little bit of a hit he takes a nice little hit but you know he catches it and falls with it a lot of people are comparing him to a lot of different people if I'm going to compare him to anybody, and this catch is really what kind of solidifies that for me, I have to say Alshon Jeffrey. I think that he's giving us what we've missed in Alshon Jeff Jeffrey. So it's very, very good to see. Like I said, and he, he drops a dime. Carson Wentz drops a dime in the middle of three defenders. But, you know, if that's Nelson Aguilar, if that's, you know, just about any other of our wide receivers in the past couple of years, that's not a guaranteed catch. Travis Fulgham, you know, really earning those stripes. So I really like that one. Like I said, that was in the third quarter, 31 yards. Now the fourth one. The fourth one was on third and eight. It was in third. It was on third down. Um, this one was an 18-yard grab. Now you're going to start seeing a lot of that uh, third down plays. He had a couple of big third down conversions. Uh, one of them being a touchdown, which we'll get to. But this play right here. You know, you see the motion, and we need to keep on doing this motion because it just confuses people. You know what I'm saying? We keep the wide receiver into block, and we end up swinging Miles Sanders. But he's not the focal point of this play. The focal point is my man Travis Fulgram putting his cornerback on straight skates. I mean, this is what you want to see at the break point. When, obviously, he runs a go route. You know, he, he has the um, cornerback's hips already open to the inside because, uh, you know, he, it looks like it's going to be a full out um, straight streak. Excuse me. So, you know, it doesn't become that. He breaks down very quickly. Travis Fulgram, I should say, breaks down very quickly, makes it. He basically what you want to see in the back. All right, so what you want to see once he breaks it down, it almost looks like you're stepping on your cornerback's um on the defender's back feet because you're that close to to him when you're cutting because now if you see once the cornerback has to turn around he's doing a full 360 trying to get you know basically trying to track the wide receiver he has no type of option of playing the ball it's really just playing the receiver at this point um travis fulgram he's able to just jump make a big boy play and that's a beautiful play that i mean that's a beautiful catch you know, uh, Carson Wentz could have probably throw a better ball. You know, I mean, I'm going to nitpick. You know, I'm going to always nitpick. But that was just sensational. A beautiful catch on the outside. He gets both feet in, falls in bounds, makes the catch. Big, big conversion. Third and 18, third quarter. Obviously, we were still in the game at this point. Huge play by Travis Fulgram. Now, this one is my favorite one because it was a touchdown. So I'm sure it was everybody's favorite one. But look, Travis Fulgram right here. It, I didn't get the wide angle, but this one kind of shows you better. This is behind the quarterback. This is what, what Carson Wentz is seeing. So, you know, you have a lot of stuff going on. And in any other situation, this is probably a touchdown to, to Zach Ertz. You know, I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a film room on Zach Ertz, but like it won't be a positive one. And I don't want to, you know, I don't know if that's something you guys want to see. If it is, just let me know. But either way, in any other situation last year, maybe even last game, this was probably a touchdown or at least a throw to Zach Ertz because he has a step and that's Carson's guy. But instead, you see at the last second, Travis Fulgram just finds the, the soft spot in the zone, makes himself available, puts his hands up. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. And Carson just delivers it to him under pressure. Um, again, another great catch by, you know, Travis Fulgram. Just, and the thing that I see about Travis Fulgram that I think a lot of people aren't saying is the timing in which he shows his hands. So Travis Fulgram will literally wait till the last second that he's about to catch the ball to put his hands up. And he catches the ball with his hands. He's not a uh, person that, you know, lets the ball hit his body and catches it with his body. He catches the ball with his hands. He goes out and grabs the ball, but he waits to the last second. And that just kind of, you know, it's a, a extra step that a cornerback or a defender has to go in order to try and track the ball. Because, you know, sometimes they use the hips, they use the hands. There's all these different type of triggers that cornerbacks and defenders use. 
that just kind of trigger them to know, you know, the ball's either coming to the wide receiver or whatever it may be. I feel like Travis Fulgham showed that he is very consistent in his route running, very consistent in his technique. Um, there's obviously room to grow, don't get me wrong, but this is a great defense, and I really feel like he showed he showed, he showed that he can be our number one wide receiver. So I'm very, very excited. I would love to know exactly what you guys think. So please let me know in the comments. Um, if there's a play that I didn't get to that you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, you know what it is, man. You know how it goes. It's fly, Eagles fly, and we got ourselves a receiver. Peace.